Hi, it's Tracy. G'day, and that's Elsie. And welcome to our global travels, where one and a half of us are going to show you how to have a great time anywhere in the world. Lots of food, adventures, fun things to see and do. Trains, planes and automobiles, whatever it is, we're going to have a go. So make sure you subscribe to our series. Have a great one. Bye. Off on another adventure today, Honey Bunch. Where are we going? Baby, we are going to a little town called Nundle. Right, Nundle. And that is near? It's about an hour south of Tamworth, down near a place called Hanging Rock. I don't think there's any picnics there. Hey, Picnic at Henning Rock. Who's watched that movie? Not me. Right. I think it was a miniseries on Australian television. They did make it a miniseries, actually. There yeah. was quite a few episodes of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah very interesting. Anyway, very that's what a, interesting. That's what that's a miniseries a mini is. Yeah, right. <laughs> I used to be blonde, but uh, turned grey. Wonder why. Carpet doesn't match the curtains that's anymore. That's just rude. <laughs> that's just naughty. And you complained about mate, 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 mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we need to get cracking. I think we should. We've got a bit of a drive and it's not too early, so there shouldn't be as many roos on the road. So yeah. let's hit the toe and then the frog and toad. I Isn't that an old saying? Won't be hitting my toe. No, but I can hit your toad. This is the road on the way to Hanging Rock. It's just a dirt track. It's not advised if you're towing a caravan or a truck to come on this road. Or a bus. Or a bus. I mean, can you imagine, John, a bus going down this road? Because if you look, it's just a sheer drop off that edge. So you really just don't want to be um, putting yourself- And it's yourself... as all buggery. Exactly. You just don't want to put yourself into a position of danger. I mean, look at that, just sheer drops. And there's the road to Hanging Rock in uh, New South Wales, Australia. Out here at a place in Australia called Hanging Rock. We actually are up here at the lookout. Wow, this is incredible. This is something that we've seen and, and the stories behind it that we've grown up with, I guess, over the years. How cool is this view? This, my friends, is what Australia is all about. The wide open spaces, the country, the bush. But in this particular area, it's about the those of you that don't know the, the picnic at Hanging Rock story, do yourselves a favour, watch it, read it. I'm on the path here at Hanging Rock, right to the very point where it says, do not proceed any further. Um, you can see why there's a lot of, lot of sheer drops here. And it's actually very quiet. There's no one out here at all. It's actually a little bit creepy for me because I often think of, you know, there's an actor called John Jarrett and he used to uh, grab people from the bush unexpectedly and uh, sort of freaks you out a little bit. But um, I don't think there's John Jarrett out here or a crazy person, but you never know. Just behind me is the Nundle Craft Shop. Now, a bit of history to this building. These bricks were made out of the mud from the local creek. But this building was actually, as we walk forward, check this out. It was the School of Arts, built in 18, 1891. And it's spectacular, these little places that have so much, so much history. Look in the window, it's closed today. But look at that, all these little crystals and fun things that you can purchase. Another place to look around in Nundal. Let's see what else I can find to, to um, entertain myself just before I have some lunch. Coming into the door, look at the space in here. There's John. Hey, babe. Hey. But look at this. You've got like a lounge, the coffee table. It's huge. It is, you can hear the echo in here. It's absolutely um, huge enough for you to have some time and to enjoy your stay here in Moree. It's got the kitchen table, which is good. But look at the kitchen, the full size fridge. It's got the stove top, it's got the dishwasher. As far as I'm concerned, that all makes a stay when you're traveling like John and I do, or in on the road and moving around. It makes our stay so much more comfortable. And here's the bedroom. It's large, I mean, the bed is so comfortable. So comfortable. You know, it's got nice light in here too. And it's got these big, which is a nice change, full-length mirrors. 
so you can check yourself out before you head out. Here's the bathroom. And you've got storage here as well. And the bathroom's huge. Like, look, look at the shower. It's massive. You've got your air racks. Digging the tiles, I must say. And then in here, this cupboard, you've got all the facilities you need, your washing machine, dryer, your iron, your you know, hair dryers and everything else. So, you know, it's really awkward sometimes when we're traveling to find the facilities that make you comfortable, especially if you're there for a couple of nights. Here I am at the Nundal Gold Mine Museum. It's also a cafe. Look at this building. How awesome is this? It's absolutely brilliant. I'm gonna make my way inside and see what they have there. Well, I've jumped out of the car here at Broadwater. Why this area is so significant to me. See that house through there, this little house over that way? My auntie Ivy and Uncle Cecil used to live in that house with my cousin Judy and Ian. Now, they've since passed away, but I know that Ian still lives in the house behind me. That house then looks out over the river. When I was little, we used to have these big, um, like big boats coming in and overnight you could hear all the cooks in there cooking up the meals for the guys. And in this service station, just here where we've stopped, off the highway, when I was little, I used to actually, uh, to fill in some hours in the day, come here and pump fuel in the old fashioned pumps where you had to crank it and things like that. So I remember doing that when I was about six years of age. Then they used to let me help them in the kitchen to make sandwiches for the passerby traffic. So a lot of memories here for me and I, I just love stopping here to get the, the chips because they're the best ever. And it just is like a little old stomping ground for me where it's just um, brings back a lot of memories fishing in the river here doing mullet hopping which was a little bit naughty but we used to get into the boat with Uncle Cecil and he'd turn on a light and the mullet used to just jump into the boat. But you know what? Great memories. Love coming past here. It'll be sad when the bypass comes in and we don't pass here anymore. We'll I'll just have to detour off here and check it out. Well, we're here and you have them. I have the chips. <laughs> and you've opened the top. How good is this? Gone are the chips in a bucket. Do you know how sometimes you go and get hot chips and they're just in like a, you a know bucket, those cardboard, cardboard buckets, bucket things. Like a cup. Not here at Broadwater. Nah. At the BP, let me tell nah. you. This is how they come. Like we all grew up with, you know, you've got to rip a hole in the top and get the chippies out of the hot wrapped up paper. And what's in this? Oh, I've got gravy. Gravy. Yeah, on this side. Check this gravy out. But look at these chippies. If oh. this was smell a phone or eat a phone, you would just love this. Oh, it's so good. And they stay so hot. I don't care whether you're on a diet or whatever. <laughs> you come past Brody, stop here at the most tiniest little BP, and get some chips that are wrapped up in paper. Memories, right? My God. John's going to share them. Give me some. Oh my God. They're nice, eh? And they're going to stay hot right to the very they're last good. chippy, right? Because they're wrapped up in paper. They're not um, in the bucket. We're about, what, 100 and something odd Ks? Mm, hour and a half. An hour and a half from home. So we're going to hit the frog and toad. Well, we're here and you have them. I have the chips. <laughs> and you've opened the top. How good is this? Gone are the chips in a bucket. Do you know how sometimes you go and get hot chips and they're just in like a, you a know bucket, those cardboard, cardboard buckets, bucket things? Like a cup. Not here at Broadwater. Nah. At the BP, let me tell nah. you. This is how they come. Like we all grew up with, you know, you've got to rip a hole in the top and get the chippies out of the hot wrapped up paper. I'm watching this. Oh, I've got gravy. Gravy. Yeah, on this side. Check this gravy out. But look at these chippies. If oh. this was smell a phone or eat a phone, you would just love this. Oh, it's so good. And they stay so hot. I don't care whether you're on a diet or whatever. <laughs> you come past Brody, stop here at the most tiniest little BP, and get some chips that are wrapped up in paper. Memories, right? My God. John's going to share them. Give me some. 
Oh my god. No, no, I and they're gonna stay hot right to the very they're last good. chippy, right? Because they're wrapped up in paper, they're not um in the bucket. They're not bad actually. Not the best I've had. <gasps> but yeah, what? I know, I know. No. They're not the best I've had, but they they're very good. Why, where was the best then? Hmm? I'm just trying to think. Oh John's trying to think. Now you know what? You can't say that. Because when you're having something that's the best, you know it, bam, 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 you got the information right there. Best place I've water skied, Wiseman's Ferry. What's something best you have done? Quick, off the top of your head. Best Chinese food I've ever eaten, Kamwa Richmond. See, that's the best. So how can you say these aren't the best chips? I just think we've had better. Oh no, well don't eat them anymore. I'll eat the damn chip. You're not having any of my burl boarded chips, let me tell you. You just, you just keep your hands off them. Hit the frog and toad. And that means road. That means road. And uh, let's get home. I'm looking forward to getting home. Welcome to Aaron Nungle in the wonderful Memorial Hall. And it's, wow, it's just so old. It's got amazing features like this old ticket window. How cool is this? I love coming out to these places because you just don't know what you're going to see. Well, I was going to go inside, but it's locked. It's got the um, the very important lock up top that keeps people out. It says enter, but it's actually shut. So anyway, that's a shame we can't go in there. But sometimes in these little country places, things do just shut down and open up over weekend. And it's certainly not the weekend because we're working. But it was nice to try. But look at this veranda. Isn't it just spectacular? I just love timber, love timber things. These look like they're made out of um, sleepers. And look at the legs. The other thing I love about coming out into the country, and, and at the moment we're still at Nundal, is you see these amazing um, things just out in the paddocks or near the parks. And I just wonder, there is a wool mill here, but I'm just wondering whether they're cogs that maybe was used in the original wool mill uh bit of the machinery it's really old look at this how cool is some of this stuff then over here we've got like a creek here's the creek bed here let's see how dry this is there's the creek bed this would be normally filled with water in good seasons and even running you can see the pebbles on the bottom there's nothing going to survive here We've really got to be aware of how water conscious we are. These country people that live out here on the farms and places like that need our help. They also, we rely on them a lot. Without the country, we wouldn't have anything to eat. Another thing we don't see much of where we live in the cities are these. This is how we do it. So if your feet are dirty, you just bash your feet on there and it'll loosen up all of the mud. I'm hoping you saw that, but these are for cleaning off your dirty boots. So if you've been out in the paddock or walking and it's been a bit dirty or dusty, you tap your feet on these and it'll get all the muck off before you go inside. I just want to share with you this amazing school bell. Gee, that brings back some memories of when I was in school, especially at the Catholic, Catholic school in uh, Liverpool, New South Wales. Wow, the nuns used to go berserk if anyone touched it. I'm so privileged I've been allowed to ring the bell. I wonder how many kids will come running. Ready? Haven't done this since I was in primary school. <laughs> how cool is this? This is so cool. <laughs> sorry. We've just pulled up on our drive from Nundal to Tamworth and then up to Moree. And we found some goats. They're just bloody adorable. Look at this for a swing set. They look like chopsticks or um, knitting needles. How cool is that? I think more knitting needles because they've got the numbers on the top. They're all tied up with rope. To me, it's those little things around these gorgeous little places that are spectacular to see. It's much like that you see out in the city, you know? You've got to come out, come and play. Stop at the local playgrounds in these little places. 
because they do things so differently. And they also, like a cubby house like that, like a fort, you wouldn't really get in most major cities because they'd be used for probably not the right intentions. Whereas the kids out here in the country love coming into town and having some fun time and know that it's safe and secure. And in these little country places like Nundal, I think everybody knows everybody else and everybody has everybody's best interests at heart. Almost home. Yeah, we've got what? One, One more sleep. sleep. <laughs> Hot dog and we're back in the castle. Back at the coast. Oh, I'm looking forward to going home. I miss our bed. You I miss, miss, yeah. miss the easiness of being home. Absolutely. You know, like if, if you need to wash, you can wash or just to sit there and look outside or go for your walk or go back to training properly. And you know, I just want people to understand something here is that what we do, people think that it's really salubrious, right? That we mm. live out of hotels and, mm. and we do. We stay in some beautiful hotels, I will say that. Yeah. And we also stay in some not so beautiful hotels, okay? And we do, we live out of our bags unless we're in a hotel for four days or more than we unpack. Yeah. But I, I need you guys to understand something about this lady sitting on my right. And that whenever we pull into a hotel, I can't unpack the car. Leanne does. She unpacks the car. She does every, all, 95% of the physical stuff mm. that has to be done. Leanne does it herself. I do what I can do, like I unpack the Esky and, mm. and I do all that sort of stuff. The simple things that I can do, I do. But Leanne's carrying all the things, she's taking all the bags and she's hanging all the clothes up. She's making sure that everything is getting sorted out. And then when it's time to leave, she has to load the car again. And you know, to have you here by my side to do that and, and to enjoy this journey that we're on, I am very, very thankful. You know, I, I love you so much. And, and I just want everybody to know how grateful I am that, that I have you here traveling. And, and you're doing all the driving as well. Yep. You're doing all the driving. So how many cases have we clicked up so having far? having a moment. That was so you sweet. Are. How many k's have we clicked up? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, don't worry about my moment. No, no, wrong one. Oh, it's this one. Yep. About nearly, for, nearly 4,300 yeah. k's. We're not home yet, so we'll, we will click over the 5,000 k's, oh, as wow. I estimated at the beginning of the tour. And you've done all the driving, you've done all, you know, 95% of the physical work. The cooking and, and the prep and, and lunches. And the cooking and the prep and lunch and then all that stuff. The prep and, and lunches is important. I want you to know that I appreciate everything that you oh, do. Oh, thank you. Because you do get a little bit narky. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I'm a husband. He does. He's a guy. But it's still, you get a little bit narky and then I get a little bit narky. But you know what? The amount of travelling John and I do together, whether it be in the car driving or whether it's just to local seminars or whether it's overseas, we get on extremely Absolutely. well. We have to. We have to, but it's not a point of being have to. We just do. Yeah, And you're I think right. that's what makes the relationship um, work. I mean, we've known each other for such a long time now. How long? You know, oh yeah, I've oh, been than married 40, nearly nearly fifteen, 15 and, years. So. And, and not only that, too, we communicate. Yeah. And Good sometimes, and bad. We, sometimes we don't <laughs> sometimes we don't communicate the best. Yeah. But we, we talk about what's on our mind, yeah. what's in our hearts, and we and we out. talk about it. We work it out, you know. And, and that's very important. And let me tell you, I'm not the easiest person in the world to live with. I am a pain in the ass at the best of times, and I do need a lot Get of a help lazy. doing things like simple things, like if I can't reach a towel, or you know, just simple stuff that. Leanne has to be able to do that for me. So, and, I, and at times I do get a bit lazy. My body breaks down, or oh, I get a little bit tired. Shut up! Shut it's up! A, it's like so, something's within reach. Love, can you pass? And I'm like, get it yourself, for God's sake, you lazy bastard. Anyway, listen. Right now we have to go because there's kids waiting for us at Moree yes. East, and if we, we don't get there, go. we're going to get in trouble. So, and then we won't be on the road ever again. No, no, no. And then I oh, won't be happy. Have a great day, whatever it is you're doing. And uh, stay safe. Yeah? It's hub day. Enjoy your hub day, Woo! guys. Today we're at Inverell. We're off to do a beautiful, beautiful school today and hopefully uh, help these children make some better choices. But look at this main street here in Inverell. How cool is that? It's a wonderful little country town and if you get the chance to come here, make sure that you do. They've got some great big stores here as well. They've got like Big W, Country Target, a lot of little boutique stores as well that you need to come in and have a look. They've got some really eclectic things as well. 
But when you're here, make sure that you come to Freckles Cafe. Freckles Cafe is this amazing coffee shop that has great food, which you'll see later on, and I'll go in and I'll show you what we have to eat. Look at this. Freckles. And in here is where they keep all of the water bowls for the dogs that walk along. So it's nice to know that you can bring your pooch somewhere. Well, sitting here in Freckles, having our morning coffee. And there's John. I don't have Freckles. <laughs> Raw and bacon. And there's Jenny who owns hey Freckles. Hey, Jen. Raw Good bacon. Morning. I'd much rather eat Spam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you remember? Spam in a can. Remember having that uh, when I little? You know, I saw this thing on Facebook the other day, right? And it had the, um, remember the keys that you used to have to put on the cans to open up the cans? Mm -hmm. Who remembers oh those? Like you old. Right, you're who remembers old. those? And when it broke, you had to stop. You're old. You couldn't open, you couldn't open the can? You couldn't open the can, did you have them? I the know. winders? Absolutely. Yeah. I know. It's a little bit before my time, but I do remember. No. Because we're the same vintage. Oh, of yeah. course, yeah. I'm like four or five years older. Yeah, yeah. it's all right. Five I years remember old. You're the, about I remember the wind up. In the country, we're often uh, struggling for water. So, in the country, you'll always see these amazing water tanks like the one behind me. Now, this, this water tank supplies the water to the local Nundal Hall. Um, you can see it's not that big, but big enough if people can serve the water and don't waste it. That's just the word of advice. When you're in the country, be a bit respectful that there may not be a lot of water around. And these water tanks are a life source for a lot of people here. Don't just walk into the, the public toilets, as you can see behind me, any public toilets and just waste the water. Make sure you turn the taps off. Make sure you flush just when you need to flush. we just done a, uh, a great gig at the community hall next door to the Nunda Public School, where I think about seven different schools came in, some from up as far as an hour and a half away. But how good's that love? Oh, it's fantastic. The kids are great out here in the country, aren't they? Oh, the country kids are absolutely oh. spot on. The fact that they travel to get to watch you, which yep. is very, very special on their calendar. Oh, look, I'm very privileged that they come so far. I'm very honoured that they uh, that they even made the effort. What a beautiful day out here, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. That sun's piping. Well, I've walked down to the Memorial Hall. This is amazing. I love the architecture when it's a very old building. It, it stands the test of time. Look at that. The archway to get in and inside is something to behold. We can't go in, unfortunately, at the moment because there are some school things happening, so we don't want to disturb anybody. But in, in um, the country, it was always the regulation to have a photo of the Queen in a corner of every public domain. Bit of insight. Here I am standing on the medium strip in Nundal. Now these little country towns are the places you've really got to get out of your, your own city environment and come and visit. This is the main street. That's it. Now we go this way. There's the main street. It's so cute over here though. Nundal actually has a swimming pool which is cool and it's very heated as well. And there's the old church. How cool are these places? You've got to come and visit. Well, we hope you've enjoyed that video. Make sure you click subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we post. Tune in on all my social media and I'll see you then. Cheers.